Eternity is not enough time to catch up to God's infinitude. We know that God is infinite. Everything that is has been derived from Him, and God has never had a beginning. Therefore, He will never have an end. And so when we come to understand the infinitude of God, we understand that He is infinite in all that He is. When He is something within who He is, He is that very thing to an infinite degree, not only vertically, but also horizontally. So if we take, for example, attributes. God is infinite in each and specific attribute that he has. He's infinite in power, infinite in love, infinite in holiness. However, when we just focus in on attributes themselves, God has an infinite amount of attributes. And this is just mind-blowing because God is not limited to anything. In anything that he is, there is an infinite degree to that which he is. And again, this can be a vertical or a horizontal aspect. When we, when we talk about God is love, God is love to an infinite degree. And so, uh, eternity is never enough time and it will never be enough time to catch up to God's infinitude because what God is and who he is is always going to be revealed to us in some manifestation but on an infinite degree everything that we learn every new revelation every new aspect to God that he reveals to us and we're speaking about the one true God the Trinity the Father the Son the Holy Spirit and we can come to know God when we believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins the God we are speaking about is the one true God and every time we receive something new new knowledge new understanding about him that new knowledge is as if we were just beginning, as if we were just standing at the starting point. Because when it comes to infinity, we can th conceptualize uh, numbers, for example. We can always keep, uh, we can start with one and then keep adding a zero after one and keep on going for infinity. And that is what it is like with God, except he doesn't have a beginning. He doesn't have a starting point with one. He is infinite, uh, and has forever been eternal. We know from Isaiah 57, 15 that God is the one who inhabits eternity. And so all of eternity, even though eternity never uh, will never end, that still is not enough time to catch up and for us to be able to understand all there is to God. And that, that should just be absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, and it should be exciting as well because when we go to heaven, it's not going to be just one big church service where we're all just singing songs for the rest of our life. No, there will be creations we've never seen, elements we can't even imagine or fathom, food, foods we'll taste that we never even knew could taste so good, uh, uh, certain animals and, and plants and uh, certain things that we can't even describe or put into words right now we will continue to grow in revelation and knowledge of God. And that is just a mind-blowing reality that even eternity is not enough time to catch up to God's infinitude.